Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft stream summary once again. Almost a week since we did the stream because that's the only time I get to do the recording. I'm not sad. Um, welcome to the end. This is what we did last time. So this is pretty much all there is to show you. I was going to do some automation and stuff maybe. Um, I was going to play with this, that and the other. Uh, but it turns out that's not going to happen. <laughs> uh, well, maybe that'll happen. Excuse me, that hurts. Maybe that'll happen, which will be tomorrow, uh, from my perspective. I don't know when it's going to be from your perspective, because I don't know when you're watching this. It's probably already happened. Automation is going to be fun and good, and we like it, but right now it is not something I can report as having been done. I've got a bow, but no arrows, so why don't we put that away as well? I upgraded my backpack. We did do a little bit after the, after the end busting, as it likes to be called, but not too much. Now, a uh, thing that has definitely improved with a mod pack in the end is um, your ender lilies. Now, of course, it looks like probably Pete has been here because this is a huge amount of ender lilies that have been planted. They grow into ender pearls. Here is a fully grown one. Look, it's an ender pearl and it stays in the ground. We've seen those before. We've had them uh, quite a while. I need two of these. <laughs> well, I say I need two of these. There are many. They're all over the place. Oh, I've got another ender lily seed, so I can just put that there. Um, which means it's not difficult to find ender pills in the end without having to kill all the endermen to get them. Which is good, because the thing that we learned... this is I think this is all vanilla stuff, by the way. Oh dear, that's not very good. Um, I'm confused. This is really hard to get to. <laughs> Has anybody built an elevator yet? I did ask for one. Um, I think this is all vanilla stuff. If you chuck an ender pearl in here... Yeah, it must be, because this is how you get shulker stuff. Uh, Right-click style. You end up being teleported to another one of these very far away. Um, I put a waypoint here called, maybe this is back, um, and over there there is an end city near here, which Tristan shared with us because we went variously exploring individually hither and yon. Uh, I do see some... Um, my boots are bouncing very weirdly. I have an elytra, so we have to rec uh, report this. Between streams, people went around, and Tristan at least, I'm not sure who went with, to find these elytras. I don't understand how they work, I don't know where you get them from. I just know that they involved a lot more time in the end for them, and they brought back one for each of us. And it allows you to coast, to soar, to buzz light you your way around, which is why apparently mine is called buzz light you, I suppose. Um, flat you, buzz flat you, very funny. Um, brilliant. And the only other thing I've realized, I've been, well, realized, I've been told to do is that if I. Um, <clears throat> shift if I hold shift while I jump it doesn't trigger the boot and therefore I can float it's very difficult to do this without looking at an end ender person um, we don't know if they all identify as men so if I yeah now I'm floating but I can jump again whilst flying which is the brilliant part of this combination that I have here so remember I had the um, multi jump on the boots from last time I could, and I think this has a cooldown rather than requiring me to land again. I don't remember this. Uh, so I can just keep jumping and flying further up in the air. Uh, this is me flying, by the way. It has Unbreaking 3 on it. I don't know if that came with it or if the, uh, the, the friendly people who got me the Elytra added that. But it does have Unbreaking 3 on it, which means it's going to last a very long time. And of course we can repair it um, with the... Oh, it does work, brilliant. With the with the mana, mana, the lava anvil thingy, <clears throat> magma. That's what my brain was thinking about. Um, no lagging, please. I'm flying. There's an airship. Um, I apologise to. I know I'm not supposed to explore and find spoilers, but we have been here, um, before. All together, so finding things like that, may be exciting, and it may not be exciting. I don't know if I'm supposed to find things like that or not. But I didn't mean to. I didn't go looking for it, so apologies. I'm trying to go to where we were. In fact, I think I'll pause the video here because you get... Oh, I say that. It's only 200 meters away. This is so much easier. You can see um, around the place all these little bridges and stuff. This is how we got to where we are. Uh, or to, you know, where this is. Um, here's the end city, by the way. This is how we got there by building these bridges. In fact, this is probably the one I built to get back because I had died. I had a full inventory. I needed to get some food. Blah, blah, blah. It was very, um, very distressing. Uh, so I basically made a beeline to this. Now everybody else, whilst I was dead, were climbing up 
Well, they were looking at this one, in fact. So let's go and have a look over here. Um, <clears throat> they were on this and exploring it. I don't know what happened because my pleas for help were studiously ignored uh, until everybody could really be bothered doing anything about it. Um, <laughs> despite the number of times I yelled, hello, I can't get back. Uh, so my um, death experience in the end was quite traumatic. Um, and therefore I'm complaining about it right now, <clears throat> even though it was a week ago, uh, and even though nothing terrible came of it. Um, <clears throat> I <clears throat> died to levitation from the shulkers. If you don't know how that works, then you should have been at the stream. Um, because they send you up and then they either suffocate you in the wall or you just drop really hard. Hey, come back. Oh, there's one there. Um, like this one. Apparently you can hit these. So they float you, and then you get got um, by the fall or something. Oh, I think I got withered, actually. There was a... Right, because you know that we're using the mod pack that has certain... Um, certain baddies in it that have certain special powers, because, you know, we can't have nice things. Uh, <clears throat> I got with it, I got down to an amount of health that was no good, uh, I died, and then on the way back I managed to, I think I starved because it was so far, and I was of course, well let me show you, because I can probably fix this, every time you throw an ender pearl, you take a little bit of damage, and of course I didn't have full health, so I couldn't, uh, sorry, I didn't have full food, I was hungry, so I couldn't, Ooh, hello, uh oh. <laughs> Let me out. Let me out. Oh, I guess we're going. Um, so I couldn't heal from all the ender pearl damage that I was taking. I'm going to die up here. Look. Let's, um, let's run away. <laughs> I did bring some food this time, so it's not too bad. Oh, I'm poisoned. That's no good. Let's try not to crash into this thing. This looks like a dragon pedestal. You think? Um, please unpoison me. Five seconds. That's fine. Um, <clears throat> this sort of thing happened back then. If I die right now, for example, I have no idea how I'll get my stuff back, so let's try not to do that. Um, but look, I can just jump and fly a bit more. So I ended up back over here trying to get my stuff, but I had half a heart left and I couldn't throw an ender pearl back up and all it required was somebody to send me one piece of food. And everyone was too much having fun in their little ship, which is, I'm sure, very much all very well and good, but, uh, you know, I know I haven't explored a ship. <clears throat> uh, except for now that I have, because I've done it just now and there were shulkers and it was scary, so maybe not, um, maybe we won't do that. So, uh, I don't really have much to say. Basically, we explored this, we found lots of ender pearls, I found lots of lapis to dig up, which was fun. These things here seem to be made of some impossible, um, <laughs> it's very fast, I don't like it. Um, impossible to mine substance, I forget the name of it. I don't think it's obsidianite, I think it's something even more exciting than that. Maybe it is, I don't know. Obsidian, you're right. Look, I can't pick it with this and it won't even break. My progress is awful. Um, we need at least the next level up. I don't know what that is, because it's not telling me. Um, <clears throat> but otherwise, what's to say? Tomorrow, uh, from my perspective, oh, I'm very glad that Tristan gave me that little heads up that shift space will fix it for me. Tomorrow, from my perspective, I will be trying to do some automation. Tristan and Lawrence won't be playing, so it will be the me show. Um, we have a couple of things that we'd like to automate. And in fact, when, when I finish talking this, I'll pause the video and have a look at what um, Tristan was saying. And I'll see if I can uh, tell you about that and give you an idea of my plans for tomorrow. Um, but otherwise, welcome to the end and I uh, hope you enjoyed your stay. I will see you either in a minute. Well, I will see you in a minute to tell you whether I found something else to say or not. This was this was our uh, <laughs> this was our everything. So uh, yes, I'll see you in a minute. Don't go anywhere. Okay. So somebody in their brilliant and infinite wisdom had gone through their quest lines, and it was just about here. Look, 
to create the mechanical artisan, which actually required you to make an artisan, an artisanal power converter, the designer's workshop and some blank design patterns. Um, and more were made because we all got quest rewards for this having been made. You put the designer's workshop <clears throat> next to the engineer's workshop. And here I have actually, these are the real items. So I had to go and put together this recipe. We've got plenty of these at the moment, so it doesn't matter too much, but once you've done this, you can now take a design pattern for uh, that thing. And if you press shift, which is pretty cool, it shows you what it is. It doesn't tell you on the tooltip, which is a little bit of a shame, but it shows you what it is when you press shift to change it. Then, according to this, I haven't tried this bit yet, um, <clears throat> you... put this right okay I get it you put this down let's just put it here for now uh, maybe you have to put it next to power okay well let me put it down back in a second I'll set the power up bit complicated you do have to put the thing on the thing and I haven't figured out why this thing is not filling up this thing even though it's clearly connected and you know everything you actually have to put the type of the table that you're making stuff with into the mechanical artisan so it holds it inside basically this outer box is doing the stuff on the inner box so i stole the one from upstairs instead of creating a new one you have to pipe energy and everything into and out of this one in fact it may be simply the case that you need to actually use a pipe which would seem weird but weirder things have happened at c so give me this and we'll see Boop. <laughs> it's not that 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 would have been stranger than I was prepared to accept. Um, you put the thing in here, we've put, this is the thing we made, it shows you what it's gonna do. That goes in there. In here, you can put in the inventory for making stuff, which we needed to do it. And you would pipe it into the thing underneath, right? So, uh, all my stuff's gone in here. Oops, not what I meant to do. Um, well, you can stay in there. So we had um, iron and gold and you put the fluids in as well, iron, gold, redstone, etc. You put these tools, as far as I can tell, in here. These are the ones that were made before. But again, these are all going to get used up. So you do need to keep the whole thing going. You can't just fire and forget. You have to replace these. Um, I don't know how to do that just yet. Also, this needs considerable amount, considerable amount of repair. So I'll make sure that happens. Um, I think basically you have to come along and make sure everything is in good nick or replace it as necessary. You can put the fluids in, but I don't think I can put the super glue in directly because I'd need to pipe it in, right? Etc. and so on and so forth. So tomorrow I will be trying to figure out how that works properly. Um, and for now I'm gonna <laughs> take all this away and put it back together upstairs. Um, so come along for that. That's what Lawrence and Tristan will be missing. And you lot can obviously thoroughly enjoy the process while I figure it out because it's extremely complicated and not working. So thanks for watching this brief episode and I will see you tomorrow and next time to let you know what I did do if you weren't there for the stream as usual. See you later. Bye.